Mauricio Pochettino's tenure at Chelsea was really marked with a lot of problems and challenges. Though he finished at position 6, a lot of people believe that he really underperformed considering the squad that he had. But the Chelsea players were not suited to the Mauricio Pochettino system, with a player only Conor Gallagher actually excelling in that system. In our video today, we are going to try and analyze and compare Mauricio Pochettino's training philosophy together with that of Enzo Maresca. And why I believe Enzo Maresca's training philosophy is actually better for Chelsea than Maurizio Pochettino. Not that I, discre I discredit Maurizio Pochettino's uh, coaching ability, but rather looking at the players that Chelsea have recruited, they suit more a position-based system than a counter-pressing pressing system. You might have realized that last season Chelsea really had a lot of injuries, and this might be uh, majorly because of a result of Pochettino's intense training systems. But before I even proceed from there, I, I would like to introduce you again to our sponsor. In sports. Better sports with Lime Bats. You can use the promo code MMA to actually get better deals and check the top comment in the comment section area so that you can be able to access our new video sponsor. Get favorable odds in the upcoming Premier League season. Before we even begin our analysis, do not forget also to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Now. Pochettino's system really faced a lot of criticism, especially with the huge number of players who were out injured last season. The inconsistencies in performance and how players really struggled to adapt in his system. And this system was because of how Maurizio Pochettino trains. Now, under Maurizio Pochettino, Chelsea's training mechanism was more of a physical-based approach that is intense physical activity in the training ground, intense running, intense uh, gym work. It was mainly involved in getting the players in the most fittest situation that you could get them. But I believe that even from the Chelsea players' perspective, that this season preseason has been slightly lightly compared to that of Maurizio Pochettino because now, they are not doing more physical work, but are rather delving into a more tactical, broad-based system. Now, this intense training system that Maurizio Pochettino had employed at Chelsea had actually made Chelsea to be in a very, very tight situation because now Chelsea players really suffered a lot from injuries with Nkuku, Rich James, Colwell. The list is so long. Enzo Fernandez, Caicedo, Lavia. We saw even players who did not manage to play last season because they were always out of inj with injuries. And this is because Pochettino's system was more physical fitness intensive more than tactical intensive. Now, let's compare that to Enzo Maresca. Now, Enzo Maresca is a possession-based football manager and he draws his philosophy of football from positional play. Positional play was a system of football introduced by Rinas Michels in his Ajax team and fathered by Gion Cruyff. Positional play systems ensures that the team is the, the pitch is uh, distributed in five uh, vertical zones, and you can see how players need to stick to distinct positions during build-up so that they are able to transition the ball from the defense to the midfield to the final third. The players move in a very structured and approached system. This system involves slow build-up, meaning that you are building play from the black slowly, using dignified passing patterns, passing channels, looking to pass the ball with short passes. Remember, you're not going long, you're not pressing hard, but rather your emphasis in is how you retain the ball. Now, this emphasis of how you retain the ball involves just understanding player movements, understanding where space is. The main aim is not just to have possession to move the ball, but rather to use their possession to move opponents to create spaces so that the opposition can be able to find areas where they can attack. Now, in the recent video that Chelsea produced of Enzo Maresca, we saw this. We saw his clear detail during training. 
his main focus his main focus on how players receive the ball this is one thing that you need to understand he wants to see how players receive the ball how many touches players have once they receive the ball he's very very intense with how many touches a player receives the angle in which a player receives the ball the angle in which a player passes the ball how the player is able to control the ball at his feet Enzo Moresca's uh, training schedule is similar to what Pep actually does and this training schedule involves <coughs> actually having the players do rondos now rondos are, are a system of play where you might have maybe around five players outside with the two players inside and the two players are tasked to try and win the ball from the five players who are outside now in this rondo you're supposed to move with the ball very fast meaning that you're supposed to learn how to pass the ball in pep guardiola's confidential it is written that actually pep and that is the first training drill that pep guardiola instills at his team so during the first days players might find it problematic because you know the, the time that you're doing rondos because maresca and like from the guardiola school is very particular with the, the rondo because the rondo is the basis of positional play because positional play involves passing the ball keeping the ball playing the ball with your feet and from a team that used to play intense pressing system and only relied on individual brilliance to actually look to create something from the game, it will be actually something that Maresca wants to instill. Each player should be very comfortable in possession. The player should know how to press. The two players who are inside the rondo should know how to press and where to put cover shadows so that they are able to know how they are going to press. Maresca is so detailed with the ball. He is so detailed with how the ball is supposed to be moved. He's so detailed about the position of players when they are receiving the ball. This training mechanism that Maresca is actually putting at Chelsea is more of a tactical based training session than a physical fitness in training session. You'll realize that there is less physical work compared to the more tactical work. But questions are asking, will Chelsea players be unfit in the beginning of the season and the answer is no because remember when a team dominates possession it is less likely to get tired on the pitch that's why you find manchester city have one of the best uh, injury records same goes to arsenal because their main aim and the way they play is more concerned about how they are uh, passing the ball you might also realize that in maresca system the goalkeeper also participates in the rondo you know previously the goalkeepers will just be handled by the goalkeeping coach but under the maresca system even goalkeepers participate in the rondo the goalkeepers are supposed to be able to play like outfielders because remember the slow build-up the slow possession based system requires that the starting progression of play should start from the goalkeeper and that's why i'm highly excited to how i'm going to see chelsea play next season a lot of you are going to maybe even get bored sometimes because chelsea will really just look to have the ball but you see the thing that chelsea uh, will be uh, will be so good at is that when they have the ball they'll be able to dominate possession when they're able to dominate possession they are limiting the amount of chances their opponents can actually score and they're also conserving energy because they are not moving the ball is moving remember the players are not moving. The players are actually acting relative to the position where they're supposed to be because that is the key philosophy and principle of positional play. Now, because the players are relative to the position where they're supposed to play, it is the ball that is moving. So the players are also conserving energy. So that's why you're seeing a player such as Rodri is able to play almost all games of the season without getting injured. That's why you're seeing Manchester City having a strong team. Now, I'm going to do a video of what Maresca is supposed to do because one problem that I'm going to see Maresca is going to face is that squad. That squad is so, so big and Chelsea need to trim that squad to at least 22 players. That Chelsea squad needs to be trimmed to 22 players because those players will be so more, uh, they will be too much for Maresca to deal with. As I can see now during preseason, Chelsea has around even around close to 50 players. Now, this is going to also improve the players such as Nkunku who've really suffered under Maurizio Pochettino's system that expected them to press intensely. We saw Nkunku really underperform in that system. But in this system, you're going to see players flourish. Nkunku is going to flourish because now he's going to play in a system whereby it's more oriented with possession. You can even see how Maresca is giving players too much information. He's giving them 
tactical news. Players are becoming smart on the pitch. They are able to know how they're supposed to pass the ball, how they're supposed to move with the ball. And this is something that I really wanted to see at Chelsea. A manager who's able to explain to players what they're supposed to do. Now, this actually is giving players less work because now players, their ability to actually be creative on the pitch is withdrawn because now players will be more likely looking to see how they are going to move, how they are going to pass the ball and move. And this is what differentiates Mareska's training sessions from Pochettino. Last year, we didn't used to see Pochettino actually do these intense training sessions that we used to see him coaching, but rather we would see Pochettino highly invested in physical activities. That is too much running, the gut contest, which was very, very intense for players. There are a lot of gym work, a lot of physical activity. Even looking at the statistics last season, Chelsea were among the team that really ran the most. They were the team that were more physical last season when it came to pressing. But this also worked against them because we saw Chelsea really underperform during the second half. Remember, a lot of people are questioning, I don't understand why Chelsea play very good in the first half, but in the second half, Chelsea play poor. Chelsea were playing poor in the second half because Chelsea always got tired because of the intense running. The intense work that Chelsea used to play, uh, used to put last season, the reason why Chelsea really used to fall off in the second half is because the majority of the players were already tired. That is the main reason. Chelsea were amongst the best teams in the first half. That is even a statistic that was uh, discussed. During the first half, Chelsea were amongst the best teams. But during the second half, Chelsea were amongst the most poorest teams. They would concede the goals earlier on in the second half because the players were so tired because of the intense running, the intense pressing. But now, players are actually being told that, no, you don't have to run a lot. You don't have to do an intense pressing a lot. But what we are going to do is we are going to press to win the ball. But once we win the ball, we just don't get the ball and immediately go to into attack mode. No, we win the ball, we keep the ball, we dominate the ball, then we slowly progress the ball in a controlled manner and structure. You are going to see Chelsea conceding less goals. You're going to see Chelsea not having a lot of injuries next season. And you're going to see Chelsea that is more tactically aware, tactically understand the roles that they are supposed to play. This is such an exciting experience that we are looking forward to. And how we are going to see how Maurizio, uh, Enzo Maresca is going to build up from where Maurizio Pochettino left. And this video clearly details the tactical differences between Maresca's training sessions and Pochettino. Maresca is more tactically possession-based, astute training methods, while Maurizio Pochettino is more concerned about fitness in because that is how it relates to his tactical philosophy. If you've enjoyed this analysis, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Check out our sponsor and thanks for watching.